so you're going to be comparing um, your traverse information about the railing length to your measurement used using the true pulse, the missing line measurement. So first off, what I'm going to be working with is um, parking lot information. That's a little bit different than your information. Road engine. Great. So I'm adding that layer. Now I'm going to add the BCIT ortho photo, which I've stored in my GIS. BCIT ortho photo. Great. So you got, should have gotten that from the J drive. Great. So now what you can do is you can use the measuring tool here to measure distances and draw lines. So this isn't exactly what you're doing, because you're looking at the railing, which I believe is over here. Um, and But you'll see essentially where it is, where your radial shots intersected. That is the point, the end of the parking lot in this case, or the end of the railing. And see how it doesn't exactly line up with the corner of the parking lot. So but with this measuring tool, I can click here, and I'm going to click to the other end, and I'm going to see how long did my was my segment. So my segment was 145 meters in length. Length. Let's try that again. Okay, measure. So, oh, I just want to end this. Okay. Oh, that's why you got to double click. Okay, it's good to see these mistakes, right? <laughs> okay, click one end. Come to the other end, and now you got to double click. Okay, now it tells me that that length was 93 meters. So now I want you to compare what you got out of your traverse information and the missing line. And just as a check, did you get a very comparable length measurement using that true pulse instrument? 